Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a deeper look at this 71 dart. So what exactly is this? All right, this is a 1971 Dart Swinger. Yeah, baby, Swinger. And cool thing about this car, besides the fact it's a drag car and you know, it's the first one I've ever owned, is, check this out, first things first. Metal. 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 Aluminum, but this is a completely metal car. Yes, removable trunk with pins, pop it. It's just the skin, it's just aluminum, aluminum. But it is, uh, the whole thing is actual metal. Now it does have a fiberglass hood, aluminum trunk deck. That's the only thing that is that. And the thing that really sold me on the car, besides the fact it's pretty badass, is, I mean, look down the side of this thing. Just, there's no waving, there's nobody in there saying, hey, how you doing? It is just that straight all the way around. So let me go ahead and hop under, since I'm already in the back, let's uh, take a look underneath here and see what we got going on for suspension. First of all, part of the suspension, I guess, would be these here tires. So if we take a look, oh, what do we got? Some Hoosiers. Whoop! These are the 2910 5W15. So the W is actually a wider tire, which is good. That's good. I'm going to have to look at what these axles are. It's got different axles in it, but um, if any of you know, shoot it down in the comments. I'd appreciate that. But uh, that's where the tires sit right there. So we got some 29s on it, which. It's a pretty good look with the 27s I put on the front. And I know the front will settle once I give it a couple, you know, yink, yink. So, uh, all right, let's get back under here. Here's what's under the trunk. Oh, by the way, fiberglass rear bumper. Yes, I know these aren't the right lights. I get it, I understand. And it does have a scamp uh, fiberglass bumper, not a swinger one. I understand purists, I get it, but we're just going racing. So easy, now easy. We do have our on off for the battery power right back here. And then our battery is back here. Shout out VGG. And uh, yeah, we got a little Summit Racing equipment. This is an older, older setup here, older pump. So I'm gonna update that. Probably put some uh, Magna Fuel or something on there. Uh, SFI, little fuel, fuel cell here. And let's see, yeah, just some basics. There's a, a wire run. And I noticed this in here, if you look in here, I probably want to update that, make it a little, come on, zoom in there, there we go. Make that a little safer, I just, I'm a stickler on safety. Don't like things starting on fire and all that stuff, especially when you just bought them. Yeah, so he's got those tied back into the frame here. Yeah, so there's our little fuel cell. It looks like, uh, what, two gallon, two and a half gallon. So I'm gonna update that, update the fuel line do some stuff so take a look at what we got going on for suspension and rear end oh let's crawl so this is a leaf spring car just got some shocks on there not sure what they are haven't done my homework on that yet but let's keep looking that there's an eight and three quarter rear end it happens to have uh 433 gears and it does have a spool for those who know what that is basically it's locked uh, bull tires all the time. Let's take a look at these frame rails. Now, I haven't taken this to the wash yet, but I need to need to bring it there and wash it up good. Let me keep going under here. Yeet! All right. 
so let's look frame rails are good oh look at that they got frame ties see the pipes up there right there it's tied this back piece all the way up to the front so it's got frame ties in it so that'll stop it from doing the twisty twist a doodle we got our uh hoop for the drive shaft it's got a trance cooler right back there let me uh I'm not going to slide all the way up under here, but there's a trance cooler. Yes, I need to clean the shit out of it. That is the transmission. That is a 727 torque light transmission with a 4,800 uh, stall converter in it. And that torque converter is made by Cone. The uh, interesting thing, cool thing, some people don't do it. This is the way it should be done. This guy actually took his time and did it. Every sticker you see on here is what's in the car. So it has a Mopar Performance Mancini Racing MSD box. It's got a Holly Performance. Well, let's take a look. What do we got in here? Yep, it's got a Holly Performance double pumper on there. We got the Mopar Performance distributor, Mopar Performance coil. It's got the uh, Edelbrock Performer RPM heads on it see if I can get this down in there pedal rock performer rpms on there now I've not taken off the valve cover yet that's going to be in the future taking off the valve cover to see if we got roller rockers or what do we got for valve train underneath there I've not done that yet thumping around down in here are 13 and a half to one compression pistons I'm not sure what brand they are uh, I do know that it has uh, obviously a big cam in it and 13 and a half to one so if i wanted to run nitrous on this thing this probably would be a good candidate not that it's going to need it for what i'm doing right now but if i get a little frisky in the future maybe we'll give it a little whoop well let's see here we got a yn team g intake manifold pretty good pretty good what else do we got uh auto meter fuel module fuel gauge isolator yeah, what do we got for headers here? We got some Hooker Super Competition headers on it. If you look there, the fender well headers. Let me bring this back out. There we go. So they actually go in and just dump out right there. Uh, brakes, not sure what they are, but it's got this on the front. It's been converted. Oh, let's see here. We got a CSI electric water pump. An old crusty fan, that's getting replaced. There's not even a bezel or anything in here, no housing. And that's, the tolerance is really close on that. Don't hit a bump too hard. We got a Power Master alternator. We got some uh, Taylor, Taylor brand plug wires. Not sure of them, have never used them. Uh, got Champagne spark plugs, I did look in there. We got this big old Edelbrock air intake. I got a, I mean, look at that filter. That is yuck. Looks like my lungs after smoking. Don't do that, kids. It's bad for you. Uh, Moroso radiator. Uh, let's see here. Can we see what kind these are? Those Doolittles? What are they? Dot, dots, dot skis? Somebody knows what those are. Let me know. But they're probably 90-10s, the way this thing, even just touching it, the way the front end started to do the hopty hop uh, I bet they're 90-10s. It does have a fiberglass bumper. That's fibro glass. So, pretty lightweight. I'm not sure what this, what this thing weighs, but as you can see, they took the inner fender skirts out. Thing's probably pretty damn light. Oh, let's see here. We got our pyrometers. You can tell how hot that fire is getting. Hell yeah, brother. Let's take a look on the inside. What do you say? I think so. Ooh, look. Looks like you used to run in the pro class. And by the way, these are all fiberglass windows, including the windshield. Now, I am looking for a windshield if you know somebody that has one for a 71 Dart. Otherwise, I will just buy one and have it put in. Oh, I did do a little upgrade on the hood here. Yeah, buddy little destroyer third you gotta make it yours you know can't just let it sit around and no one knows whose it is gotta put your name on it let's take a look 
Oh. So, why haven't I taken it down the track yet? Well, I gotta figure out what's in this thing and are the bolts tight and are the belts up to date? Is there, I mean, there's a lot more to this than just jumping in and hauling ass. So let's, first things first, let's look at these belts. Uh, that looks like December, December of, what is that, 06? Yeah, they're uh, quite outdated. Can't run those, they won't let you. Let's see what we got for switches. Uh, these two here, the guy did tell me, one's for the alternator, one's for the dome light. So the reason they put the alternator on a switch is they have to be able to pull the battery and have the engine die. Just one of those things they ask you to do in the NHRA. So we got our ignition, fuel, water pump, fan, and lights. That there's the magic button for starting. Uh, it does have the removable steering wheel. Got our little Napa fan down there. B&M shifter, that's probably getting replaced, as you can see. It's just... Uh, it works, but it's a little hinky. All right, I'm gonna try and crawl my big butt in there. Hold on. All right, so I'm in the cockpit here. So this bar here, I'm gonna be running this in a 10 second class. I don't quite need all this. I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this. And if I wanted to, I can run this closer down in here, make it where I can get out of, in and out of the car easier. Because right now you hook your foot on here every try and, time you try and get out. So, all right, back to the dash here. We got uh, fuel. And we actually have the exhaust temp for both sides. Pretty cool. Oil, voltage, and water. And then we got our sport comp auto meter with the shift light indicator. This has the Mopar Performance MSD. That's the brains of everything on this operation. There's the number if you guys wanted to know what it is. And it's got the additional two steps set up in it. So I have to check and see what they have everything set at. You know, what, what's my two-step set at? What are my shift points set at? There, there's a lot to this game uh, of drag racing. Oh, man, this little fan is going to have to get upgraded. Uh, Arizona heat, no, 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 way too much. So the back part of this cage is actually really, really nicely done. Very nicely done. It's got good welds. But when we get up to here, they kind of started... Looks like they added this later. I mean, I'm just not a fan of that. So we're going to redo that and probably redo some of this cage here. There's some pretty bad welds here. Right? I'm not trusting that. Like I said, that's part of the reason why I'm not just jumping in, putting this thing to the floor and going. Of course, that's all I want to do. Well, let's see. Yeah, shifter is a, it's a little little hinky. Got our uh, two-step button here. Trans brake button here. Or I may have those backwards. Trans brake, two-step. Yeah, that makes more sense. But removable steering wheel. I'm going to update the steering wheel. Uh, update some of the wiring, as you can see. I, I don't know. It's been in here a long time. And he was saying that there was an issue with the two-step working once in a while. So I don't know. Just go through it make it right make it work all right so looking into the back you can see they did plates down here and welded it it's supposed to be a bigger plate per nhra so i'll probably have to upgrade those where they meet the floor oh let's see they did pretty good work on the sheet metal here making that rear pan getting everything run through there real nice i mean it's a very simple car simple setup guy did a hell of a job it's just simple little updates that i want to do to it to get this thing ready to rip, rock, and roll. Because, man, there is nothing better than uh, getting out on the strip and having some fun. So I'm going to have to try and find, see the three-inch, three-and-a-half-inch collector right there? I'm going to find some flex pipe or something and just lay it down with a muffler on it just so I can start it without making all these fine folks mad because they are actually really cool neighbors for once, and I don't want to mess that up too bad. But, yeah, look, it's got door cards in it. I mean, it's in pretty damn good shape. And if I really wanted to, I bet you I could... Because, yeah, there's the... That's the actual part of the car. I could probably get glass and put it back in if I wanted to, but I understand weight reduction. Anybody have a cool trick for getting rid of... See that fog and all the scratches? Same thing with the windshield. There's just fog and scratches. Anybody with a trick on that, let me know down below. That would be awesome. That would be a huge, huge freaking help. 
Yeah, this this hood, there's a couple of things here. It's got a little little love crack there. Probably too many horsepowers. And at one point they had cut out a different scoop and they just patched it. So eventually I'll probably end up with another hood. And I'm not a huge fan of these. I'm gonna get the actual, uh, the, you know, the newer versions, forget the damn name. And the other thing I wanna update, if you look right in here, they, uh, that's just tape. So I'll probably just pull this off, paint it black, something like that. But for now, we're gonna leave the Terminator on the door. We're gonna take this thing for one last rip as the Terminator. I don't know if I'm gonna change it. It depends on the response and what we say, what we do. But I think I'm gonna leave it for now and honor the guy that I bought it from for one last rip down the track. Here, let me back this up. I can get a real view of it. One last rip down the track in his honor. And then we'll, uh, we'll start to do some things that I do, which is customize and play around, so. No, oh, one last thing here. The uh, the stripe on here is it's painted on, but it's kind of kind of coming off in spots. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect. It's race car nice, and you guys you understand what race car nice is. You know, 20 feet away, it looks great. You can go racing with it. People in the stands will be like, "Holy crap, is that sweet?" And it is. But uh, yeah, there's the the overall walk around on this thing. Fire in the hole. Hope you guys liked the video that's kind of the the specs on what this thing has uh, i don't think i left anything out if you have any comments for me on what you think i should do anything you see that you're like oh dude you need to upgrade that or it ain't good let me know down below and uh we're gonna keep moving this thing forward i gotta start it sometime here and i'm gonna probably make videos every time i start this hopefully get a chance to maybe sneak it around the neighborhood once we'll see what happens but appreciate you watching see you on the next one